Let's not forget where we are. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, beware all those who enter. This one is a The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the spectre of a... I love men in uniform. She could be seen at the attic windows weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Come along, the house awaits. You're not afraid, are you? Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Go on. Easy now. Go on. Shall we? Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the, the legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. sudden draft. Nothing more. My word! Perhaps... perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. There. Uh, let me go, you moke! Uh, Charming! Oh, don't. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. Why, why? Uh, we were there for the treasure. 
We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. Ha! So this is how it works. Impressive. Love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. I did it! Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. We have an important job to do. Oh my God. 